What's going on, Bird Gang? Fly Eagles Fly on the road to victory. It's your boy, D Biggie 86 coming at you with another video. Uh, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment on it and go ahead and sub up my channel. And don't just sub it up. Go ahead and hit that bell so you get a notification of whenever I upload a video. All right, so of course we won last night or yesterday. The Eagles beat the Bears 22-14. Uh, um, sloppy game in the second half. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened in the second half. It just seems like the the Eagles didn't make the adjustments that we should have made in the second half. We stopped putting pressure on Mitchell Trubisky in the second half, and it almost cost us the game. Um, kudos again to Andre Dillard uh, for you know keeping his own for keeping whoever he had in check. Um, I think he was lined up. Um, across from Andre or across from Khalil Mack because uh, in, uh, in a post on Facebook that's what he said uh, you know that he had to go against Khalil Mack and he was uh, nervous like you know of course we all know Khalil Mack so I was right correct with that in my first video uh, but I just want to talk about this receiving core uh, that we have we need some help we need some help um, ASAP you know, we have Matt Collins, we have J.J. Arcega Whiteside, we have Nelson Aguilar, we have Alshon Jeffrey, we have Deshaun Jackson. First, I want to talk about Deshaun Jackson. We can't depend on De Deshaun Jackson to be healthy. You know, he came in one play, had a good had a cat a uh, good catch for five yards, and then he was out. We can't keep depending on Deshaun Jackson to come in and really save the day, we'll say. Um, then you got Alshon Jeffrey, you know, still dropping balls. He's the new Nelson Aguilar, you know, dropping these the, these crucial first downs. And it's not just, it's, it's not once in a while. It's every time we throw him the ball, he seems to drop the ball. Yes, he had a crucial catch, um, uh, you know, in that game, but most of the other times that we've thrown to him, it's a drop. It's a drop. Matt Collins, he he's just out there to be out there. JJ, I think a white side. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he went. But something we something has to change. Doug Peterson apparently said in his press conference that um, we need to get a wide receiver before the tri or before the Patriots game, and I'm I'm guaranteeing. Jordan Matthews will be back on this team. I can guarantee that. Jordan Matthews should come on back. Um, I, this is probably a long shot, but even try to go out for A.B. or even Mike Wallace. You know, Mike Wallace didn't really get his chance uh, while he was on this team. So I feel like I feel like he would give a shot or, you know, he should get a shot. And, you know, not to be funny, but even, you know, get Torrey Smith out of retirement. Something. Anybody. Because what we have right now, we're not we're we're not going to be successful with who we have. Um, we just nobody, no, just nobody, nobody stepping up. And like I said in my video yesterday, you know, it was the tight end show yesterday. It was a tight end show and the running back show because um, the tight ends did everything and the running backs did everything. And we can't depend, can't keep depending on our wide receivers and our running backs to win us games when we have. Um, these wide receiver, uh, or, I'm sorry, we can't depend on our tight ends and our running backs to win games for us when we have wide receivers who could be doing that. Uh, Matt Collins needs to go. Matt Collins really needs to go. I don't even know why he made the team. Um, you know, he had that one good play against the Redskins, and then he hasn't been he hasn't been nothing uh, ever since then. JJ, I think a white side. I think he just doesn't get enough reps. Um, he's good. J.J. Ortega Whiteside is really good. If he can just get some more practice, you know, get his hands better, he will be fine. He's just not getting enough reps. Um, Darren Sproles, you know, he, he fair caught most of the balls yesterday. Like, why did he play? I don't know. We got all these young talents, and we're not using them correctly. Um, also, Jason Peters is supposed to be um, coming back, so... Um, He's going to be taking back his spot from Andre Dillard, which I think is a mistake. You need to let Andre Dillard keep playing like he's playing. Because I feel like if you if you take him out, 
and then you try to put him back in, he's just he's not going to be the same. And that's the Eagles. That's the Eagles organization problem. They're so committed to these older guys um, that the younger guys don't get the reps and everything else. And then when they come in, they don't do anything. So just just something has to give. We have to we have to get something. You know, yes, the Patriots lost. Um, but it, 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 again, any given Sunday, you know, we, we have to, we have to get some wide receiver help ASAP. If we want to, if we want to play, you know, if we want to win these games, you know, we got the Patriots and then we got to go to Seattle or not go to Seattle. Um, you know, we have to play the Patriots and then we have to play the Seahawks. Um, and then it's smooth sailing from there. So I feel like we could split those two games. It'd be nice to win both of those, but I don't, I doubt we'll, we're, we're winning both of those. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose both of those, but you know, anything can happen in the NFL, but we have to get with wide receiver help right now because we can't keep depending on Deshaun Jackson because he's showing right now that he's, he, he's still not healthy. He's still not healthy. I, I think they just need to shut him down the rest of the year, get, um, JJ Arthur white side, or I'm sorry. Well, okay. So Hollins is Deshaun Jackson's we'll, we'll say backup. Um, but get J.J. I think a white side out there, get him acclimated, get him going, get him first team reps because he's a really good player. And get Matt Collins out of there, really, get him out of there. So we'll see what happens. Doug Peterson said that we need to get a wide receiver uh, before the Patriots game. So we'll just have to, um, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. So that's all I want to say. You know, our offense struggled yesterday in the second half. Uh, defense struggled in the second half. Um, we went away from the run at the goal line, and you want to pass um, for three downs. We can't do that. Jordan Howard's been running up the seams, running up the middle the whole game. Yet when we get to the end, you know, get to the end zone, the red zone, we want to pass, pass, pass instead of run, run, run. Or we run one time and then we pass the rest. We can't do that. If Jordan Howard has been doing his thing in the red zone. Keep running them. Keep running them. Our identity is the run game, and that's what we need to be using. And we're not utilizing it effectively. So I just hope they can I just hope they can fix it. You know, they talk a good game. The Eagles organization talks a good game. But will they put it into action this time? Will they put it into action? So we'll see. But just want to come on here and vent about that. Uh, we need new wide receivers. Everybody, just, just, just get rid of everybody. Start over. <laughs> Something. I don't know. We just we just need help. We don't have any deep threat wide receivers. These opposing teams aren't scared of our receivers because we don't have any deep threats. Um, and again, like I said, it, we can't have our tight ends and backs, you know, run the show because um, you know they get burnt out just like everybody else. So we'll see, we'll see. But fly goes fly, bleed green, run lose, and y'all know what to do. Always make somebody smile. I'm out of here.